Hello and welcome back to Queen's Wish 2. And we are here in the underground realm thingy. Um, where we don't have any map. And last time we got a well, kind of a quest, but not really to kill the dragon. So I think we had to do three three things. Um, do this one thing which we had already. Kill the dragons, which are probably these ones here, which I don't really want to kill. Um, and I think one other thing with the slime. I'm not. I don't remember if we had this in the. Ah, yeah, diamonds ospol. Yeah, okay. Um, once infestation. Yeah, but it's not telling me what we are actually uh, supposed to do. So yeah, um, we will just keep exploring here and then we will probably meet our targets anyways and I guess this is a dead end there so I will go there first yeah but this is probably kind of a small treasure or something let's go there and defeat the slimes Mm. Should probably use this one. They are steaming, they're not spreading, so we cannot take them over. So let's just. I mean, he is almost out of mana, anyways. He will not do. Walk. And probably walks from here. No, it doesn't. All right. Um, yeah, just keeping staying back for now. There. Yeah, I don't really want to go forward, but there's no use in just skipping the turns. Alright. Yep, okay. That's what I wanted to avoid. Should probably clean the poison, even though I mean that's we might get poisoned again. That might be a bit of a waste of mana, but yeah, poison immune, that's good at least. So the ones which are already aggroed there, we can just ignore for now because there's not going to happen anything. We'll just focus on this steaming mass down here. Or any other one which is going to, uh, which is ignoring the construct. Alright. So that this is our next target. Works. 
camera there. There it goes. I don't want to su to summon a new one, but maybe that's the best I can do. Yeah. Now I got the poison. Maybe I will just go with the poison now. Can bleed for some reason. I hope that this one dies with the poison. Yes. I think the poison is gone once I get out of combat, yeah. Alright, there's a large nest here. It's covered with slime. Slimes don't live in nests, of course, but they can flow over one and dissolve any tasty organic matter they find. One item did survive their corrosive assault. A gold necklace. This one, mental resist. I am not sure if that's the one, but I guess so. Gold necklace. Well, it should, I mean, if it's a necklace, it should have been either this one or that one. I don't remember if we had that already, but either way, probably not something too useful. They seem to be static, so they might be special. Let's try and kill them, or maybe not. Interesting, there are miners working on extracting crystals from this spire. However, they aren't humans, they are K-beasts. They are gathered at the bottom of Spire, uh, chopping at it. They shout, hit, hit, break, hit. You aren't sure who put them to work down here. This isn't really the sort of thing they'd do on their own. They are too absorbed in the task to notice you. <laughs> Hello, why are you doing this? Of course you will go into combat then. Stop, I'm robbing your crystals. Hello, why are you doing this? The cave turn around and see you. You wait for a response to your entirely reasonable question. Then you see the mindless hunger in their eyes. They've been working hard and they really want a nice snack. Yeah, okay. That was to be expected. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, they can be taken over, so that should be pretty easy. Mm. Touched that one. Oh. Should keep our distance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's not going to survive. No. Too long. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, we definitely need to take over one more. So let's take him. Didn't work. Mm. 
Snared or rooted or whatever. Ah, that was too far. They are too touched. Uh, well, we should focus on the crusher, nevertheless, because they are too far away. out of range so let's try to get to the touched ones still alive nice okay He needs to die. Okay. We can... I mean, he can't attack anymore, but at least we can get him out of that situation. Right. All right. Ouch. Mm. Okay. That's it. Now that the KVs are dead, you look through the crystals they have mined. What you find is mostly useless. Eh, mindless hacking against an already heavily mined crystal mainly results in pretty gravel. One of the KBOs, however, does have a large pretty crystal in a big leather pouch along with a few, a few coins. You take it. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if that was anything here. It sounded like we got a diamond, but I'm not sure. The cave to the northwest is a disaster, a literal disaster. Visibility is not a problem. The cave is crisscrossed with trenches of glowing green slime. It slopes upward to the northwest, where a pair of stone towers stick out of the wall of the cavern. The rivers of goo are a sign of a neglect a magical ex uh, of magical experiments allowed to run and never cleaned up. The burning waste is slowly oozing to the south. When it hits la the lava, it results uh, the results will be spectacular. Mm. All right.
Didn't we have... I think I might be a bit confused here. There was the script thing. I'm not sure where this entrance was. Mm. I mean, I was in the beginning, well, I entered it from the south, right, from there. But I also entered it from the north. But I don't remember anymore where this entrance was. Maybe it was there. But wasn't there something like we didn't we see the this green stuff? Maybe it's further up. No. Yeah, I've got no idea. Hmm. Well, let's continue our journey here. We will probably need to kill all of them, but I fear that um, we might not have any mana left or any resources left to do any zone then so we will probably need to go back heal and then come back later on are they poison immune they're not. Hmm. So what we can do... Ah! What we can do is use the poison rain. Yeah, that's pretty much perfect. Yep. Mm. Yeah, but we will not be able to kill them without poisoning us. Yeah, that's too far away. Yeah, there it is. I will just endure the poison now and not heal it because that way I can just leave and save the mana alright I feel like there was... ah there it is I somehow I just moved around that bit 
And I think we were in there already and we just couldn't go past some gate. But it would be a good idea to actually um, the uh, exit that way then, if possible. So we, we will try to fight our way through. I think these are like zombie fungus people, but let's see. You see a group of row miners nearby. Maybe they're not fungus people. <laughs> they're stumbling around seemingly at random. Tools hanging limply from their hands. They haven't noticed you, which is odd because you're out in the problem. Maybe they're still fungus zombie people. Talk to them. When you get close, they finally notice. They look up at you. You realize that their skin is blotchy and green. The slime has infected these people. They aren't people anymore. Mm, yeah, okay. Yeah, they are not weak. They probably don't bleed near. Yeah. Um, they have a poison resist of 100%. Okay. I will still do this. Because this does a lot of damage. This will kill our construct. I think it was worth the damage. Okay, now we can all go a bit to the back. Walking corpses have been destroyed. You search them. Most of their wealth fell out through their torn clothes and packs. You do find a couple of pieces of jewelry and a decent sized chunk of deep metal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, the metal is not listed here, so we probably got some stuff before as well. Okay, so there's nothing. We need to go back. Let's first try to to get out of here. Okay, this was easier than expected. There's some ghost. There is a shade standing on the crumbling road heading, uh, leading up to the base of a tower. It's the ghost of a human, or a magical construct that looks like one. He stares at you as you approach, but he makes no move to flee or attack. Talk to him. You approach and get a good look at him. He is human, not raw. You can't uh, tell the color of his skin or his hair because he is translucent. His face has a peculiar shape. He says, I am of the Nisse. The Nisse totally submitted to me on Sacramentum. I know the Nisse. We travel, we watch, we watch Haven with pe uh, particular interest. The Nisse totally submitted to me on Sacramentum. We have not forgotten the humiliation you handed us. All promises we gave you will be honored. And we can be found to the north, beyond the tower. We want to speak with you. Speak about what? So the Nissa were the like ghosts, ancient 
civilization thingy from um, Queen Switch 1. Speak about what? He stays silent. I don't trust you. You should. We have so very much to talk about. So much to offer. We wait. He vanishes. There's someone who wants to attack me. Okay. Okay. Um, can we? Yes, we can. In theory. It's getting a bit painful. All right. Let me alone. Not sure if that's actually useful to do. Um, but yeah, this is definitely useful to do. Whoop. Um, and we should probably heal, but I don't want to. I will focus on these. Oh. Yeah. Nice. The issue is that there's a huge magical evasion, so I will not attack them with the mages. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, they're not really doing much. Oop. And... Yes. Nice. This is, however, the most dangerous one, so we should probably go a bit away. Ah, that was too far. Okay, I mean, we should heal now. Everyone is together. So, let's heal. Energy conserved. Nice. Yeah, that has to be enough already. Alright. Attack! It's not going well. This looks like no. Oh, there's something. These are are these? T I will first go in there and see. Okay, there's probably not a whole lot left. So yeah, before I go there, I will just explore the rest of this thing, which is not a lot. You find a pile of old junk, rotting boxes, broken flasks, journals eaten to bits by corrosive slime. When the towers above you were abandoned, this was all the stuff not worth carrying out. One item stands out, it survives, uh, survived while all the other stuff decayed away. It's an ivory tube sealed with wax. You find a scroll inside. Great. 
most probably this scroll of calling. Either way, we should be um, fine with this zone. Still have some mana left. much going on so far. Huh. Relevant lore, diamond diamond, draconic orb, which is just for selling, and erudico bone wand, which is like this, hornbund bone wand. 160, 250, 28. Okay, so this one is definitely better. Mm -hmm. Ah, another puzzle. All right. Yeah, it's always a nice... Um, nice change a nice distraction or whatever you want to call it um that's an interesting one though so we have to connect these and basically bridge all of them in this area so this one we can connect that way that way we avoid wasting a well actually we don't avoid and well, these are probably the most precious entries. Like this entry for that one. And this for that one. This goes there. We just need to connect all to this hub there. And that should be fine already. Yeah. And achievement unlocked Puzzle Master! Cool. Battle healer rune. No, okay. That's not too amazing, but I take it. That's it already? No, there's a Gelasima. You are in what is left of the Southern Tower. A square base surrounded by crumbling walls. Above, you see stalactites wreathed in green mist. The tower has one resident, a huge drake. She is very old and entirely corrupted by the slime of the pit. Her skin oozes acid and wisps of poisonous gas rise from her mouth. You can sense her intense power and you can tell why she accepted the corruption. She is a ferocious beast. When you enter, she is staring at the closest, closed gate to the north. Then she looks at you. Stop, intruders! I am Jalassima, guardian of the portal. It was, I was placed here to stop invaders. You will go. Who placed you here? I went to Arthur He told me to draw from his power. I would be strong and unending. I would gain wealth. In return, I guard the tower. Didn't we kill him? Archimedes? The sentinel of the Eurydico, the master, the guard of the tower. She looks up at the upper tower. It is still glowing at the top. I have another question. You are in what is left of the southern tower. Okay. Um, what happened to you? I absorbed the power here. You mean the slime. Yes, it is a thousand Erudico experiments combined. So much raw power. I'm a drake. I knew how to absorb it. That slime is encroaching on the caves to the south. Not my concern. If it was a problem, Archimedes would have addressed it. I have another question. Um, I want to pass to the northern tower. I guard the gate. I will not open it until you have bested me. That is the deal I made with Archimedes. 
He spreads the wings and hisses at you, fouling the air of the hall. Again, you can sense how powerful she is, a truly challenging foe. I challenge you. Then I will feed on living, thinking flesh. I will taste your brain. What a delightful gift, an unexpected surprise. We'll see about that. Um... All right. Yeah, that was already a nice, nice first move. We should probably stay back for now. Nah, that was too far back. Okay. Does she bleed? There's no resistance. Okay, that should work. Mm -hmm. Let's stack the bleed. Yeah, maybe the drake can do something special later on. Ah, it actually, actually, it, it did heal itself by drawing. But yeah, it's not much. Healing strike 11, so we will just cast another one. And here you got another skeleton. Yeah. Not much healing going on. Gela Sima. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Go away. Just to make sure. Okay, that's actually good. Just that there's a poison. Uh, blind poison. Okay, that's also fine. Hmm. But there's yeah, also four bleeds on um, Gelasima, five bleed. Ooh, 
okay, that was more than expected. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, place to here. Uh, another question. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, 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 to you. You mean the slime? Blah, 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 blah. Okay. I challenge you. Okay. Yeah, okay. So there is a lot of damage. We should probably start that way. And I can already cast this place to here. I I never know what is triggering what, so I want to go through all the dialogue options. Um I think as soon as I click on that one, the combat starts. Yeah. Made it. Too far away. Okay. Okay, he's blind. We might want to fix that. Uh, just drinking healing potion now. How long is this? It's just two turns and I'm not going to fix that. Bleed more! I mean, we can, in theory, just heal them as well. Nah. Instant kill. Yeah, I probably need the mana to just recast the stuff. And I sh this time I will keep two of them active so that there is no chance um, it's just turning around and attacking me. New We need a new one. 
But first up, I will do the heal now, and I hope that the skeleton gets... No, it doesn't get anything. Alright. So we probably also need to get another skeleton soon. We need a new skeleton though. Yeah, even though it looks like it's going fine, I rather want to play it safe. Yeah, exactly. New one. Die! <laughs> Gelasima screams, it convulses and collapses. Then all of the acidic slime infusing its body are held and checked by magic and force of will is allowed to dissolve the creature. You step back, allowing the beast to melt into a pool of goo. The ground under its hisses and smokes, but you manage to save your shoes. The gate to the north opens. You can now reach the upper tower from this direction. Alright. Mm, and treasure. Festival hub. Yeah, unfortunately, we have a full inventory now, so I need to throw away stuff again. This one is worthless. Um, the scroll of calling, we probably have some blessing scroll or something which we can still throw away. Um, maybe not. Mercy, yeah, exactly. So, well, I also want to use this. Um, can use this once before resting. Its song forces your foe to dance as you gleefully drain its life. It can only be played once on each voyage. Uh huh. That sounds interesting. Yeah, let's take it with this character for now. And of course, we need to take the healing potion. But I think that's it. Ah, this is also worthless. Alright. Okay. I also never used that. A shockwave. Mm hmm. Yeah, let's try that. Um, so that's finished then, and I think we already cleared the rest of the tower. No, actually there was something which didn't... Uh, ah, no, I, I turned the all these things and I think I was wondering why well, doesn't the gate open, but now... It did open, so I will just check if I didn't miss anything, but yeah, there was this Archimedes guy, and we should be okay. Well then, um, I need to go back to the city. We are pretty much out of juice, so... Mm. 
Yeah, and there's the whole northern part. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely quite big down here. And then maybe um, before we continue exploring uh, down here, we will continue doing some stuff over here. The worm's teeth. All right, so now we are, I know we are over there again. Okay, I kind of. Uhita Mountain. Yeah, that's not super useful. I kind of thought we were in there, but we were not the right. So yeah, now I need, either way, I need to go back to the Eska Keep and then continue from there. I will probably just go back into the pits then. Makes no sense to do this then. But we will think about that next time. Now I will just, I think they will just flee, right? Yeah, I had that before. Um, first we will go to the fort. We need to do that. Unfortunately, we also don't have new resources, so... Yeah. Mm. Hmm. And I think, let me have a look into the list. Eska Keep was that one, and this one is still needing an apothecary. Yeah. So we definitely need to get back here anyways. Okay, so maybe... Let's go to the... To this area. Um, to Fort Hailstone. And then go into the Haxramus ruins. And into the Larokon ruins. And then we make the connection there and there. I think that's a, an awesome plan. So I can just ignore the Eska Keep for now, and we can also move by the, um... Uh, go to the Urudiko Tower. And we still have nothing to spend there, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Boom. We also need some more distilleries and stuff, but we can also go back to Fort Meadow 4 and see. I mean, now we are down here anyways, so why not? Um, and we might be summoned again for this um, to solve some disputes, but also, we actually might be able to return home, but if we can do that, we will do that next time. Also, Fort Meadow 4 has nothing yet in terms of, yeah, make a stall, like these 
things which make um, yeah, which make it cheaper. I mean, they are kind of pointless, but let's just build them anyways. Uh, and I already bought that. And I should also check um, for new equipment for the mages. Yeah, um, well, first let's let's go inside. You notice that Chief Cestus is holding court in the audience hall to the north. When she catches your eye, she waves you forward. She wants you to come advise her. Another demand on your limited time. Mm. You interrupt a meeting between Chief Cestus and an old soldier of Haven. His face is wrinkled and his hair is grey and thinning, but he still stands upright and his sword and armor are in good repair. When you approach, Chief Cestus smiles. Prince, give me the honor of introducing Captain Shatham. Hello, Shatham. Shatham salutes. It's an honor, Prince Cordano. I won't be a problem for long. I was passing by on a ship. Docked to resupply at Lascara on the way home. I decided to take a short journey to see my old fort. You came here now, in this dangerous time? I served in the row for many years. I've seen all the provinces. I'm not scared of the roads here, raids or not. I had not I had good reason to come for to Fort Meadow 4, though. Not just nostalgia for an old campaigner. Tell me about your service. I served in the Rokai 20 years, a scout and a courier most of the time, but I helped put down 11 rebellions, says this ax. asks. 11? Oh yes, small uprisings, but the Rokai never needs an excuse to rebel. Peace feels like a weakness to them. What do the, you think of the Rokai? I wouldn't lecture you on it, Prince. You're half Ro after all. Only, they are a fierce people. I admire them in their stubborn way. Just remember, they never feel the need to tell the truth to an outsider. They will lie to your face a thousand times, while their deep truth hides inside, waiting to come out at the worst time. And why are you here now? I served in the, the Seventh Army of Haven. It's still here, outside Lascara. A long, proud history. We have going. We, uh, we have going back to the Great Uprising. We lost a lot of soldiers then. Just as bad, they took our banner. Ah, yeah, I remember. A banner. Yes, the sy symbol of the battalion, the spirit of the army. It disappeared with our soldiers. Years after the uprising was put down, we started to hear rumors. The rose still have our banner. Pass it around, traveling in their tiny victory in the killing of our soldiers. That is why I'm here. The seventh army hasn't forgotten. We want our banner back. How long ago was this banner lost? In the Great Uprising about a century ago, it's probably a little one now, but it will still be in recognizable condition. Our banners are like Haven's armies, built to endure. Okay, this, so this is not the banner in front of the thing which was stolen. How was the banner lost? One of our battalions chased some rogue killers up into the valleys of the Low Daga. Went too far, fell out of supply, probably got lost, never came out again. They fell in the low daga, all gone. We didn't even get to the bones. Those soldiers were lost for good. When the rules surrendered, they pretended they didn't know what happened to our soldiers in our banner. But they know. Why is this banner so important? It is our symbol, it is our honor. Where we plant it, it uh, uh, that is haven. It's a bit of our homeland, lost in some dirty row cave. Can't be endured. Sorry for speaking so plainly, Prince. Describe the banner. Uh-huh. He describes it. Sounds like a banner. One of hundreds. It's been a long time we've been hunting for it. Now it's an unstable tower time. Now some of the row might want to buy safety for themselves. Maybe someone in the low daga has heard something and will talk. I'm old. I can't travel like I used to. If you went there, though, begging your leave... You could win a lot of love from our, your people by asking around. He salutes again. The honor of Avon is at stake. I will try to recover your banner. Shatham salutes smartly. As I said, ask around in the low daga. Someone will uh, sell a secret to you if you can bring it back. It will do wonders for morale, I promise it. When you have it, bring it back to Cestus. It was an honor to meet you, Prince. And Cestus, I take my leave. Sleep with one eye open. None of the rogue can be trusted. 
He turns and marches proudly out of the hall. Chief Cecil smiles. Nice to meet someone who survived this place, eh? Just a little hope. If you bring me the banner, I'll make sure it goes to the right place. Mm-hmm, nice. Okay. I don't think we have the banner yet, right? Is that something which just popped up here? Ah, yeah, here in Azam. Okay. All right, cool, cool. Then, um, yeah, let's also have a look regarding um, some items we can, well, let's first sell a bit because I want to sell something. Ah, uh, that's a bit. Uh, inventory is a bit full. Mm hmm. Mental resists. Uh, yeah, it sounds kind of nice, but maximum health. Mm, how much is that? 10. Okay, that's actually quite a bit. Scroll of life. Physical damage. Mm, now let's sell that one. That's four and two. Yeah, we don't need that. All right. Um, then we got this thing, which is nice, but he can't use it because five, ten, ten percent man resists. Yeah. In gear. This is also tier 3 arcane gear. There's no point in keeping them all. I mean, if I have tier 3, then we can just use the better stuff. So we can sell this one and we can also sell one of these. Regarding the runes, I still need to check. Corrupting ring. Um. Outgassing magical armor. Links, but right. What was this? Rope of reciprocity. Nah, I think that's also 10, 2, 15, 6, 10. Mm, blessing, 8, 8. Mm. Mm. Yeah, this one is worth more, but magical evasion, blessing spells, healing, magical damage. No, I will sell this one. Yeah. And let's go to the next. This is crap. Oh, was it? Yeah. This is crap. This is also crap. Nah, yeah, I mean they are fine, but I'm just filled up with that junk. So I need to get rid of some of these. It's a bit. <sighs> I mean, the healing potions are nice, but it's a bit stupid that they will all take like one slot and you fill up your inventory. You're basically, all the new inventory place you get is just used by the energy potions. Man resist ensnaring vines. Madness symbol. Mm hmm. Maximum energy. I'm not sure what you can actually put in these, but this one, for example, is pretty bad. So in theory, you can exchange them with something more useful and two slots. 
Also 20% man, um, man resist. Speed penalty. I'm not. I'm not. Never going to use that. So let's sell that as well. 10% physical evasion and an empty slot. That's pretty good. But. Yeah, again, I'm not sure. I mean, we should put something in there. Also, we can sell that, I guess. Let's sell that as well. There are three slots in here. But I don't think that the, uh, the base bonus is worth it. So I will just sell that as well. And... Poison rain, poison resist. Mm. I should probably put all the the necklaces and so on on one character to have a better overview of all the crap I've got left. This is a charm. Outgassing. Mm -hmm. nah. Neck item. Inventory now. We have the life ring. Oops, what was that? I uh, just exchanged some. Okay. Um. Yeah, the rune rune thing. I will have a look into later. All right. So these are all the rings I've got. I will have a look into that um, like before the next time so that I can tell you what, like what I decided on and then we will do that because that will probably take quite a bit. And um, what we can still do now is to have a look at the... I think I've got all the carpenters installed now. Um, let me see our wares. Both, like, we can probably just buy some new bows. Hits are critical. Yeah. I mean, it is kind of expensive, but... I mean, this one is better anyways. I... Ah, this is a tier 2 weapon. Okay, so he can take it. Minimum advantage, but why not? Yeah, we have tons of money, so there's no reason not to use it. Mm -hmm. Sell something, gone. All right, see one. No, want to see your wares. Let's see the shields. Steel tower shields. All right, so the issue with these is again that they have a speed penalty and I probably don't want that 10-5. Yeah, I mean it gives us even more... Six, three. So the best one without speed penalty is this one. Yeah, so let's get that. Yep. Alright. And we can set this. Alright. Once. Um, 
these are these the main hand yeah this should be the like replacements for these and not for these this is two-handed weapon and this is all main hand this is arcane stuff though so this is like one more damage Yeah, no, I'm not going to replace that. Maybe we will use the this one if we end up at um, Arcane 3. But right now, I don't see points. Saves. Probably already pretty good. Actually, that's also better. But also just a tiny bit and there's no rune in i mean there is an additional slot in there so it is better ah but i don't want to spend the money even though i do have enough money but in that case um nah done shopping okay that's all um but let's see at the carpenter new rope maybe we have something in there uh, here, yeah, he really needs to. Uh, he has pretty good s stuff though, so there's nothing. A Rudico vestment, um, eighty percent, nine and eighteen. Okay, so this and magical damage. This is pretty much. I mean, this is clearly better. But there are a bunch of runes which we need to take out. Alright. So, let's go back to the smithy. Well, first let's exchange that. Then... Yeah, this is a bit... Let's this. Yeah, because he has no runes in the inventory and I think they... Just install an argument, yes, so that I... Ah, no, okay. These were all passive. Okay, then I mix that up. Alright, no. No, it That, though. Healing. Yeah, and this one only has the magical damage. So blessing, healing, and it's okay. But that means, I mean, we can still install three things in here. So maybe we will just do that now. Um, okay, install augments. I should, I should make a list of all the runes. I had wanted to do that before already, but yeah. Okay. Um, some uh, 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 new coal, okay. That's a level one arcane gear. Oh, this is level two arcane gear. Two, four, five, two, three, seven. Okay, well, obviously, that's better. And there's also no reason not to buy that one. All right. Let's exchange that as well. Mm -hmm. And a bigger backpack. Yeah, I mean, we are already at maximum. Gloves. Alright. Um, are these the gloves? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Two magical damage. Mm. Uh, not really. Three, one, five physical evasion. Uh, 
it doesn't really make a difference. I will just keep it as is. Alright, so let's sell some stuff. Mm hmm. This one. This one. And this one. Okay, so for the next time, I will check which. Like, again, with these rings and stuff. And I will also probably look into the runes and what's best there and so on. And maybe we can use some of the slots. It's also a bit, um, yeah, a piece of armor to improve it. So what's the armor and what's the weapon is a ring? I mean, ring is probably armor, right? So I'm not sure exactly. So this is weapon or helmet. So helmet is not armor. So yeah, I, I will need to look into that and then I will tell you next time and we will go through um, the runes and stuff. I think we can buy runes, right? Um, wasn't that also in the alchemist or something? Where was the alchemist? Probably that building there. Yeah, runes and arguments. Oppression rune. Yeah, we are still missing the last apothecary for that, but it's not something I would want to buy anyways. Yeah, I will make a list of that and see and compare. That was that the runes, that was the runes and that's the augments. Alright. Yeah, we can probably just buy a couple of these. Alright, so that's it for today. New episodes every couple of days. So make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss anything. And what we will, what is planned for the next time. Uh, I think we will just go north. We'll visit the Tower of the Erudico. And then we will probably go to the uh, Haxra, Haraxmus ruins. And... Um, see that we, we can make this passage work and that's it all right so hope to see you again next time bye bye